as you can see it's busy here I was originally just parked over there next to that last tree and next to the little uh, black uh, Suzuki uh, Swift and now I'm over here and I'm over here so I've got a little bit more space and so I can show you the living pod and this weekend's gonna be a rainy one for the next good few days so it'd be good for me to get this thing on so and I'm gonna be staying right here in this spot <laughs> So I'm not moving anywhere anytime soon, which is a good scenario to put the living pot up in. Might time myself doing it here, hey? Let's see, what time is it here now? It is 9.33. Let's get this thing up. From watching the video, the one thing I do remember is I've gotta take this cover off. This cover right here has gotta come off. So, it's gonna come out of these grooves. Uh, I got kept, kept it in the slipper slot here. There we go. And it slides out like so. Like so. <laughs> There we go. A little bit of finesse. Put the bag down here. Even though I've just moved the camera from the tripod. This is the living pod itself in this bag. So I'm gonna open it up now. Um, if there's not instructions inside, I'll have to just do it from the memory of watching the video, which I've only seen twice, so wish me luck. This here looks like the ground sheet. What I need is the back. I'm trying to figure out what part of this is the back. It's all walled up into one thing here like so so it's not raining too hard I'm tempted just to roll it out on the grass and have a look that looks like the front door just because it's raining right now I'm tempted just to string put this on those look like the grooves for it there and there and it is. I'm kind of rushing this process. <laughs> I'm gonna go with this as the outside. I have no idea. No idea at all. Actually, I have a hunch. It's this way. Loops have a tendency to be on the outside of the tent here, so. That's what I'm gonna do. Mm. That bit I put on might actually go in the back. And I think it does. Okay, I'm hoping it doesn't look like I've mo moved miles ahead on you. The piece that I had on the front is now in the back got the zipper so I'm guessing I can still get to this back door on it. I've got these bits facing me. These tabs that the loops go into to hold the door up and the rest of it seems to be all in one big piece and I've found a corner and I'm sliding it into there. That's got the zipper here so the zipper obviously zips into there. So that's the game plan at the moment. It just slides in. Lift it up a little as you're sliding it in or it's gonna be really difficult. I got other little elements of the tent slowing me down. There we go. That's better. That's in. Hey. While I'm here, I'm gonna zip it up because starts to really rain, it'll make my life a misery. 
There we go. Hey, hey. It's all connecting up now. Hey, hey, hey. All right. <laughs> oh, this side of my tent does not look good. It's so damp. clips from this. I'll get clipped in that. So from here, woo, this gets clipped into there. I'm gonna have to put the camera down, but as you can see, that's what I mean. And that's what I'm gonna do. Woo. Rain, 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 go away. I'm not going to zip the back of that yet because I have no way of certain of being able to get in. <laughs> Otherwise, ooh, shoot, close that up. There we go. Okay, let's see here. I had to do the same to this size, the clips. There we go, in place. Almost there. Almost got it all up. <laughs> and that rain is relentless. But this will keep me dry. I'm still wearing the clothes I came here in. I'm not too I'm not too thrilled about this part. I've got to detach those poles there and then put the hooks in. So I'm gonna to have to go inside here and uh, get it sorted out and it's really, really raining now. Not hard, but frequent. Oh. There's the inside. All right. Let's get this show on the road. Don't want to step on it. There are hooks here that I have to put in those hooks here. So that's what I have to do. And to do that, I'm gonna need to get this rain cover like so. Ooh, splash. Everywhere. Oh God. I am literally getting a shower. Nowhere to put this camera. <sighs> All right, not the best angle, but this is gonna have to be what I can do with the camera. So you're inside the rain part right now. I've taken the pull down on that side. I've got the first hook in my hand here, and it's going into the slot here, which you can't see. I got the camera upside down, but there you can see, right in there. Oh, nope, it's gonna go in that one. And then same for all the little hucks along. Oh, so, I'm gonna get right on that. At least I'm dry. <laughs> At the moment. Um, let's take the other bit off. Getting dark. <laughs> I'm going to have to take the other pole off in a moment. This goes in here. This should all pay off. 
with the rain up in Scotland being like it is today. Uh, make sure I got the hooks. How do they alternate? Okay. My hooks seem to have gone the face the other way, but there's that one in. Um, I gotta take this pole out. All right, that should be all those in. Got a little bit more space, but. <laughs> This is looking good. Let's get out from here. Okay. I see the little clips on the tarp here. As you can see on the camera, the button here on your rainfly connects into there. What a miserable rainy day. Okay, same, let's see. Ah, this gets clipped into that. Okay, so the corners of this get clipped around like that, okay. I am learning as you are at the moment. And then you all change to go see a more professional person do it. <laughs> let's watch a different YouTube video, someone who actually knows what they're doing. This goes in to there. There we go. Where's the fun in that though? Don't you want to be clueless with me? You're clueless now. I'm guessing. That or you're just watching this because you just like me being tortured. There's a tent pole that goes through it. There's my other pole that I must have dropped. I'm not sure if it's that time or not, but I'm tempted to get that pole out and give it a try. Okay, back inside we go. Ugh. Ah. These are the poles. Yeah, these are the poles. Or pole, I'm guessing. I think it only needs the one. Yep, looks like one big pole. Okay. All right. I figured it out. And I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> oh. It's staying up. Okay. I just don't know where exactly. I'm guessing high. Up high. Up. Go up high. Don't sag. Up high. Oh god, that was exhausting. But look, it's up, just about. Ooh. Okay, there's Velcro bits that I need to do. That's better the tripod falling off. Ooh. Oh, I've had this little tripod twisty tripod for two years and the legs are falling off. Okay. That around that, that around there. Is there another one here? Yes, there is. Woo! <laughs> Lift this up a little bit. It follows the seam as my window. 
Velcros go in. There's little tabs in the new tent living pod, little plastic tabs that that pole goes in through. That gives me this. Has my hook come off again? Yes, it has. All right, so you can do this one person. Not easy. Doable. There's the cover over there turning into my new man made puddle. Oh, it's raining harder in there. I want to get inside. That'll help. Oh, that helps. <laughs> oh. All right, I've got my mallet. my mallet here and in this bag I'm guessing is the stakes and guide rope or is it called guide rope I can't remember I might be getting confused with some mountain climbing thing but whoa those are hardy looking That's good. Let's get these in while I'm already soaking. I do have a coat, but it's heavy and moving around. I'm gonna sweat. It's just gonna make my life miserable. So. Let's see. at this point. Let's pull it a little bit. I would be basically in a gravel parking lot trying to do this. This is the tent with the living pot on it see 